mortals, I am Dark Lord Kaiser, and this is FTL, which stands for Faster Than Light. Some versions of the game, um, certainly on things like Steam, I think, say FTL, Faster Than Light. Because, why not? Uh, it's a space game. The idea is that we play a space ship, we start at one end of the map, we want to get to the other end, and we're being chased by the bad guys. Uh, I think this will be explained when I start playing. Um, I've tried recording this before. It didn't work very well, so I didn't actually make it into a video. So let's hope I can make it work this time better. So let's get going. Um, now nah, let's pick a pick a different ship. Ooh, let's see. There we are. <laughs> I couldn't see the list button for a minute there. So let's go with. Uh, this one, because it's got a laser beam. So, chips have got a variety of, of types. Um, you can also change the layout of the individual ships, which changes your crew, your weapons. Sort of. So this one, for example, uh, starts off with more crew, doesn't have any weapons to play with. Uh, so you're kind of very reliant on your, this one's got a special super laser. Um, but it also comes with a teleporter, so the idea is you sort of teleport into your enemy ship and, and blow them to buggery from inside out. But that's, uh, yeah, sure, actually, let's do that. Why not? <laughs> okay. Data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. So we're playing the Federation, we're fighting against the rebels, um, so we have information we just want to get to. Uh, our base and tell them is, is the, the information at which point they go great oh the rebel fleet are behind you everything's made of death now fight them so the data you carry is vital to the remaining federation fleet you'll need supplies for the journey so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next I'll explain that when we get to it but get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up tip weapon order rearrange your weapon or drone schematic we don't need to worry about that, that's just how to make things work. We can deal with that when we want. So, before I get going, we're going to choose where our crew members live. Um, if I thought I would have changed their name before we started, but it's too late now. Well, I could still change their name, but I just can't be bothered. So, we're going to want Stick to... Yeah, Stick, who is a Mantis, Mantis good fighters, so he can live over there. Now, we don't have any weapons, so it doesn't make any sense for Mr. Weapon Man to live there, so he can go live in the shield instead. Now, this little green dude has the benefit of supplying energy to whatever system he is working on. So he's a little yellow bar up here. This is my total energy to work with. These are all the places I can put energy. As I said, no point putting any in um, the weapons, because I don't have any weapons. So, uh, quick overview. This is the clone lab. When my um, crew members die, they will uh, be cloned there after a time period. If there's no power in the clone bay, they die, basically. Um, so you want to keep that powered if you're dying. There are a few other things you can do to make it work. But uh, this is the engine. I need that to be able to fly, well, use my faster than light drive. Um, this is the cockpit. I need that to be able to have any chance of dodging um, enemy fire. Uh, there are upgrades for it again, we'll get to it later. This is the shields. Need that to make sure I don't get shot in the face. We've got oxygen supply. If that goes down, we suffocate. Teleporter. Self-explanatory. This is the super secret weapon that's specific to this layout of ship. It's a laser. So I need to make sure that doesn't sustain heavy fire and break, because it's the only defence I've got at the moment. Uh, this is... Obviously, cameras um, deals with inside the ship. As a default, if I upgrade it, I can look inside my enemy's ship, which would be quite useful since I'm going to be a teleporter kind of thing. This is the doors. These are my doors. Currently, if anyone invades, they can just walk through all of the doors. So we can upgrade those to make them stronger, or I can stick a guy in there who'll make them stronger manually. So uh, all of that dealt with the subsystems down here. And that's the regular weapons, which we'll deal with at a later date. So, that's the overview. This is the map. I need to get there. That will then take me to the next level, as it were. Um, we'll, we'll 
deal with that as we go through. So let's just go to a thing. What have we got then? So we detect an automated rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost. So I get a choice, I can either bugger off and not, you know, risk a fight, or I can go shoot the thing and possibly get some rewards from the, uh, the outpost that it is attacking. So of course we're going to attack, because why the hell wouldn't we? Detecting the higher threat, the automated ship moves in to engage your ship. Okay, neat. So, this is one of those games where you can pause and do whatever you like to mess with things. Now, it occurs to me, this not being a manned ship means there's no point in me teleporting stick over there to, uh, to destroy things from the inside. Because it's automated and there's no O2 build, uh, room, if I send him over there, he won't have any oxygen, he'll start to suffocate. Because my teleporter is at the lowest power level, um, it takes quite a while to um, recharge, so I won't be able to pull him out, so there's a very good chance he'll suffocate before I can bring him back. I do have the clone bay, but every time you um, a character gets cloned, they lose an amount of their stats. So, they've also fired off this little hacking unit here. That's going to attach itself to one of my systems and play silly buggers with us. Were those engines? Silly buggers with us? Yes, that was right. So, my best bet is basically at this point just to wait for my laser to do its thing. Where's it attacking? And it's attacking the oxygen. Now, if they're smart, they'll also shoot the oxygen. And they did. Great. Stick, guess what you're doing? Because this is hacked, he now has to break into our own room and uh, then repair it while we're currently being fired upon. This laser fires automatically when it gets full, by the way, so there we go. He's in there. Might also be worth having a second guy getting in there while the uh, doors are open. So once it closes, then to find the way back out again. And since we need oxygen to live... Alright, come on, oxygen. It's repairing, repairing, repairing. As soon as it's repaired, they'll then be able to jam it. So, yeah, our oxygen then decreases. So it's giving us an oxygen low warning. We have fired. It's doing summer. There we go. Oh! You're not a laser! Okay, you two, go fix that. We need this to fight, and, uh... Okay, we're gonna have to... Jesus, they're taking us apart! This is the first boss of the uh, first enemy I've come across! And they're completely taking us apart! Okay. Luckily, they're... well, they're cockroach down, that's not very helpful to us at all. Right, change of plan. You two, get in there. Uh, Shieldy boy, go fix that. Right. So, this is all on fire. That's not good. However, what I can do is open a path to outside. It'll get rid of all the oxygen um, and thus smother the fire. Hopefully then I can get some people in. Now, what I'm going to do is teleport... Both of these guys to the hacking station over there. Because if they can break that, they can't um, bugger our oxygen up like they currently are doing. And as soon as this is returned, we can. Um, as soon as, as this is recharged, rather, we can bring them back. But for now, we kind of need. Actually, you two, while you're there, go break their weapons. Yeah, I think they're going to suffocate before we can uh, bring them back. Yep, luckily, that's what the clone base for. Now, I think I can only reach, um, clone one guy at a time. So I am going to need to pull Mr. Stick back. Why are you not... Oh, I've got to pull... <laughs> Sorry, I've got, to, I've got to manually pull him back. However, you two... Uh, oh, what can you two do? Oh, I've got to shuffle my doors again. Aha. 
Uh, oop. Keep pressing the wrong buttons. I'm doing this on a uh, on my Steam pad because that's the way I play games. Um, so it's just a matter of remembering what buttons I've assigned to do what. So as soon as I get some more oxygen back in there, I can get some people in to start repairing it. So they're currently only firing on this, which will take our shields down, but not much else. Cool. In fact, everybody, everybody go do the thing. Because that is, as I said, our only way of, uh, of fighting currently. Now, this use, these things usually have an auto-repair um, feature in. So as time goes on, these are going to start coming back. Now, who the hell was our pilot? You. Go back over there, get us some evasion. You, you have the most health. Go over there. Johnson is having the second most health. You can go in there. Stick, you can go into the shields, because that's going to be our priority. Okay. Oh, <laughs> and he would go into there right as it uh, locked him in. Right, okay, go break that again. Yeah, right. You two, go break that. Now, I've got to be careful because when the hull hits zero, it's going to be destroyed. What I don't want is any of my guys in there when it gets destroyed. Come on. I need to bring it back. There we go. So the, uh, the pause key, the uh, pause button, very useful, particularly when you've got a limited number of people who can be resurrected at one time. So let's have a check. So their weapons are almost out. Hacking's out. He's back in here. Johnson should return in but a moment. Um, right, for now we'll have you go into the engine room. Johnson... Ooh, where should Johnson go? Is there a... Yeah, there's no benefit to... I can't man this station. This is the first enemy and I'm struggling this much with them. Usually, the first ones, you can get away with whatever you start with, but... Instead, not having any weapons, aside from the... Um... The special one. It's really putting me in a bad position. Um, so, given you've got the most health, Johnson, go over there. As soon as that's recharged, then we'll... Why aren't you manning anything in here? Oh, the shields have no power? When did that happen? <laughs> Johnson, fix it. Oh, I know why the shields have no power. The shields get um, power in blocks of two, and because I think at one point both of the... Um, Oh, he's dead. Okay, that was the sound of that firing. You, go in there and fix our shields, because we need them. There we are, that's destroyed. So, great. Okay. So, we destroyed it, we got some stuff, and the outpost we defended gave us some stuff as well. Faith and Begora, that was awkward. So yes, as I was saying, the shields work in blocks of two, so I can't take one energy away, they go in, in doubles. I think at one point I had both of these in the same block. So if they leave, and the energy isn't there to uh, power it, everything disappeared. Right, okay. So. Now the other benefit of the clone bay is it does heal the characters up between jumps. Now, before we go anywhere, we are going to need to make this better. So as I said, in previous ships this was a laser beam, which is what I was expecting it to be, and it's actually flak artillery. Um, so if I spend 30 of the, the currency, it's called scrap, um, that will now cool down quicker, so it only takes 40 seconds to fire rather than 50. It does however require more power to do that, so we'll invest in a bit of power. All of this making sense so far, viewers. Okay, so, you, go there, you, go there, you, go there, and we will then, nope, that was the wrong button. So uh, one of these buttons is um, save, yeah, there we are, so station saved means that these guys, whenever I 
send them anywhere else. If I press the return to station button, they'll go back to there as a default. So this is what the default setting I want to have, as it were. So, I'm not going to play a full game of this, because A, it will take forever. We fought one enemy in 15 minutes. And B, it's bloody hard. You get to the last... You can do brilliantly up till the end boss. And the end boss is just ten levels above everything else you could conceivably have fought. And you've got to fight him, like, three times. Okay, black market weapons trader says, oh, oh, this, this nebula is really dangerous. Do you want to buy my stuff? So if I had 45 monies, I could buy a random weapon. Now, could be a good one, could be a bad one. However, having no weapon means that even for 45, that would have been a good idea. But I just spent all my money in making me shit better. Um, so I could just leave them, or I could fight them. Let's fight them. Why the hell not? Okay. Well, I mean, ethics and that lot, but whatever. So, let's send our little Mantis friend. Now, wherever we send him could make a difference. If I send him to the cockpit, for example, he might kill the pilot. Um, and of course there's some running water in the background. Why wouldn't there be? Whatever. Um, and then if there's nobody else coming to help to stop him, he'll then start destroying whatever he's in. So I'm going to take out the weapons, I think. There they are. Oh, there's nobody even in there. Oh, and they've got a Mantis. So, the Mantis, as I said, good fighters. Um, bad, basically, everything else. And he's gonna... Oh, no! Someone's on their way to fight him, though. Right, the... I think, what are these called? I think these are Engi. There's a, another type of thing. They're not very good fighters. However, uh, Mantis friend is so weak, it ain't gonna matter. Now, I could pull him back. Um, but he doesn't actually have anything really he could do over here. He could help the, the repair, I suppose. Yeah, let's bring him back for repairs. There we go. You, fix that. Actually, no, fix the oxygen. Mm, no, cockpit goes first. The oxygen, um, if the, there's no power to the oxygen, it drops at a pretty slow rate. So I can probably you can get away with not fixing it for quite a while. It was only last time a priority because they had the hacking station on, and when the hacking station's on, it actively drains your oxygen rather than. Uh... All right, stick, go fix that. Um, actively drains your oxygen rather than just lets it decline normally. Right. Yeah. Oh, they're trying to escape. Okay. So, if they want to escape, they have to use the faster than light drive. To use the faster than light drive, they need somebody piloting the thing, and they need their engines working. So, whenever this message pops up, it's basically saying, Oi, either break the whole thing completely, or destroy one of those two things. Now, our flat cannon is basically just a, a spread of damage across the entire ship. It happens to have taken out the engine, so their faster than light drive is delayed. However, that Engi we saw before... They're pretty good at um, repairing stuff. So there's a good chance he's going to make his way over there so they can escape. However, if they're... Well, the weapons are still firing, so I kind of want to keep a bit of evasion on. What I'm going to do, though... Johnson! Your job is to go and annoy them. Let's... Yeah, let's put it there. Now they've got a choice of either fix the broken system or come and deal with the intruder. So he's breaking their weapon systems. Oh, and they've come to uh, to fight instead. So let's see how this goes. Because if I can kill all of their um, crew members, I'll win. Oops, there the shields are on fire. Oh, yeah, we are. He killed the uh, the last crew member. Now, it doesn't automatically pull them back. It is entirely possible for me to fly away and leave my crew member on the ship. Um, I'm just hoping this thing isn't going to automatically fire on them now while my guy's there. Um, there are certain events that will only happen if you kill off all the crew members. So if you're on a slave ship, for example, and you keep sending people in and killing the crew members, then there's a good chance you'll find living slaves at the end of the whole thing. And... Uh, one of them might join you, which is nice. 
Okay. Okay, the shields are on fire. Let's uh, let's pull you back. And how do we deal with fires? Well, we could put send somebody in to stomp them out, or we could just decompress the entire room and see what happens. So, oh, the fire! It does appear has gone out. Has gone out? Yes, that's the that sentence already. So, give that a moment just to get some oxygen back. Now, everybody, go fix the shields. Do, 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 do. Fixed. Right, bugger off back to your station. So. Okay, I'm gonna. Because I've got a bit of energy I'm not using. So that's off our clone bay. So if I pop back to our um, upgrades box uh, uh, menu, that's the word I'm looking for. It's been a long day. I, uh, I'm, I'm not functioning at 100%, I will be the first to admit. Um, so if I was to upgrade my clone bay, then it'll heal more every time I jump, and I don't need to worry about power for that. But, let's see. I'm going to hold off, actually, on upgrading anything, because if I go to the shop over here, I want to see if I can buy me send a weapon. Do we have weapons? Uh, you do have weapons. You don't have weapons for 43. Do we have anything to sell? I'm going to sell my emergency respirators, because I, I need a weapon. I do. Let's see. So... Lasers just require power. Uh, bombs require uh, power and missiles, which we have over there. There are some systems that require um, drone parts, but that's an entire um, system rather than just a weapon. So I could get. So that requires missiles. Um. Oh, it's a, it's a teleporty bomb. So we've got something that will just go in and break whatever's inside. This one that will teleport in and then break whatever's in there as well. However, it requires uh, a power uh, of two. And our system only supports one at the moment. So if I buy that, I will also need to wait until I can buy... Um, yep, sorry, a lot of squeaking there as I adjusted myself in the chair. So I'd also need to wait until I can upgrade my ship. I'm not planning to play for that long. So let's let's get a small bomb. So yeah, I've got some more, so let, we're not gonna bother. We're not gonna worry. I'm not even gonna bother repairing my ship or buying fuel or anything like that. We're not gonna play that much longer. We're just gonna keep going around and fighting stuff. More funties. Oh, this isn't a fighty stuff. This is just saying, uh, don't go to this planet, it's squaranteed. That's all it is. Sometimes that'll happen. Sometimes you'll go to a place and it'll say, Oh, we found a planet. Oh, there's a life sign. Do you want to go play? Sometimes it'll go, Oh, there's a thing. Fight it. And sometimes it'll just go, There's nothing here to do. Alrighty, Roo. Let's go. So, this over here is the uh, encroaching rebels. Um, the red line is where they will be after I've jumped. So, if I were to somehow jump to here, then I would have to fight some rebels when I got there. This area over here, the rebels already have control, so it's significantly more dangerous to be there. So essentially, I need to make sure I get to the exit before this line gets there. That's all there is to this game, he says. So that's the, that's the, again, that was not a sentence. That's the basic idea of how this game works. Um, obviously, it's more complicated than that in the minute-to-minute -minute bits. And as I said, when you get to the final boss, it's just... You have a... Uh, 10 speed bicycle, now try and take out this monster truck with it. So, so what have we got here? A mercenary. We can hire the mercenary to annoy the rebels, give us more time. Or we can give him a bit more money, he can tell us what's around. Or we can fight him, or we can just bugger off. Obviously we're going to fight him, because we need to keep this interesting somehow. So, what does I need power to? That one. So I'll put more power in it when we need it. So, um, as well as needing power here, it also needs time, uh, time to charge. So, while we're waiting on that, let's have our little Mantis friend stick. Go mess with their weapon systems. Oh, they've got a human over there. 
Now, Stick is probably going to die. And... Ooh, then again. It's going to be close. Now he's going to die. Yep, he's dead. However, our small bomb is ready. And if we bomb in here, we will kill the human who's also in the room. Ah, they left too early. But they haven't got any weapons anymore. Now, Stick is... Let's take one off there, put one in there. Get Stick out a bit quicker. So somebody else dies before uh, Stick fully heals. Uh, sorry, before Stick's cloned, we lose him. Right, Stick's back, so don't need that. There, we can put that back there. Stick, go back to your station. Now you can set uh, these weapons to automatically fire, but because this costs missiles, I don't really want to be doing that. So, where should we send you next? Oh, there's somebody in there repairing it. Have Adam, sticky boy. And it's the the human that we fought before. Okay, you've got a rock man there as well. They are tougher than you. Um, okay, if stick dies, we can just pull him back in. Oh, you're going to try and escape, are you? Now, it says that the FTL's delayed. Oh, it's because they're... Could be because that's destroyed. Could be they haven't got a pilot there. Hard to tell. Um, so we're going to let Stick destroy the weapon system. Obviously, our faster than light drives uh, charge as well, so we can just run away from this fight if uh, if it isn't going our way. Okay. I'll try to figure out for a second if we'd fired or if they had. Right. It's worth mentioning that every time one of these breaks as well, the hull goes down, so it's possible for Stick to break something and in the process destroy the uh, the ship and by extension himself. So I'm going to take another energy off of there because I want this to charge a little bit longer. I want to give Stick more of a time to go do his thing. And his thing is breaking stuff. Oh, so the rock man went and prioritised the shields over the um, piloting system it would seem. I, mean, I guess that makes sense. But... So what we're going to do is we're going to pull Sticky Boy out of there, and then we're going to bomb the living crap out of the guy who's already in there. Oh, he ran away, Sneaky Boy. He saw it coming. He saw it coming. But their shields are completely down, so when this thing is fully charged, it'll just break them. There's only two hull, and we only need two. One hit is basically one hull damage, so. Now we play the waiting game. And fire the cannon! And they're dead. Right. Uh, oh, it's almost been half an hour. So let's go find one more battle, but we will try and lose it just for the hell of it. At least then you'll get some closure to the whole story. Um, yeah, attack it. I don't care what it is. Now we're going to bomb this. And we're going to put. You two. In there. Now, teleport both of yourselves. Te teleport both of yourselves to. That room. Now, you two. Go into the teleporter. Oh no, Stick, you're dying. Whatever you do. Uh, let's, let's bomb this as well. Okie okay, Oh no, a human's dead. Oh actually no, it has put him in the uh, in the thing there. Right. And you two, go over there. Stick, go over here. Yeah, I can't actually bring you guys back, so you'll just you'll die. Uh, now, it occurs to me that this isn't going to end with our destruction. But, uh, I was planning to have all of my uh, crew on that ship as it exploded, but I couldn't. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't uh, keep them alive on that ship long enough. Oh well. Everyone, return to your station. Ah, stick, go fix that. No, stick, go, go fix that.
Ah, what the hell, we don't need cameras. Let's go to the next place. Oh, this sun's going to set things on fire at random. Okay. Right, so. Everybody into the transporter. Now we teleport. And let's attack their shields, because I think we can fit everyone in the shields. Ah, let's bomb the shields as well, why the hell not? I say, we're not planning to survive this encounter. Who did we lose? Oh no, both of them, as it turns out. You two, go fight. Stick. Wait in the, uh, in the teleporter. Oh, they're trying to escape. What? Okay. They didn't have much of a crew. We are not doing very well at this whole trying to die thing. And we've nicked their lol laser as well. Right. No. We're not. This is not what we're doing. We're going to stay here until everything's dead. That includes us. I'll wait for this to recharge. Because the fires are on both ships are breaking all of the stuff. Why can't I... Why can't I teleport? I said not let me teleport because the... <laughs> the fight's over. Ah, oh, that's a... annoying. Right, well, everyone go back to your stations then. I will get this crew killed one way or another. I've got to wait for the, uh, <laughs> the STL drive to charge up. Come on, someone fix something. Oh, he's dead. You, fix that. I want to go to the other place. I was hoping we could die in battle, because at least that would be funny. We're currently just being killed by the... Uh... <laughs> We're just being killed by the atmosphere here. Go fix that. Or well, the lack of atmosphere, technically. We've got 4% oxygen and everything's on fire. Oh, and now the oxygen's on fire as well. Luckily everyone's regenerating, so... <laughs> We're just going to have to keep throwing people at it until it's fixed. Well, there's the oxygen back on at least. Go fix that. The three of my four crew members are currently cloning. Oh, joy. You, fix that. Of course, if that catches fire and gets destroyed, then those guys are gone. You, go there. What's on fire? Everything's on fire. I don't care. Right, okay. That's charging. Oh, for the love of... Fix it. I just want to go and die in battle. Why is this so hard? Of course, the FDL drive isn't charging because the cockpit broke. Two. One. Good. Right. Okay. Jesus. I have a cult of two. One fight and we're done. Come on. Fight me. Thank Christ for that. Why is that on fire? You. Go. Uh, there. You guys, go get ready. Oh, it's exploded. How? Whoever could have predicted that? That <laughs> matter is still fighting. Yeah. It's accepted that it's pointless. Right. Okay. So. That was a thing that happened. That's FTL. Um. Maybe at some point I will play a proper long go of that actually trying to survive and get to the end. It is possible to beat the whole thing. It is just very difficult. As I've said, the final boss is just so many levels higher that um, if your ship isn't set up in a rather specific way, you uh, don't have a hope in hell. Um, because essentially every time you fight the final boss, a bit of it breaks off uh, and its tactics change the next time round. Um, but the crew members don't change. So, effectively, to beat the final boss, the best option is to kill 
almost all of the crew members, or very or the crew members who are in very specific locations so that they can't repair things, and then focus on the weapons that are going to do the most damage to you and work it from there. If we ever get to the final boss, I'll show you what I mean. But, um, yes, that was that. Um, before I finish, I would just like to thank uh, everyone for their patience and understanding in terms of the release schedule. Um, I had aimed to release one episode every two days, um, and then all of a sudden I uh, was called into work a lot more, um, i.e. at all, to be honest, before uh, this week I haven't really had any hours to work, but uh, as I've said, I work at a theme park, which I'm referring to as not Disney, because um, it's not Disney. It isn't, that's simply a fact, <laughs> but uh, it, it wants to be. Um, anyway, yes, so they've called me in to start working, ready for the uh, the park's reopening. Um, it's been closed due to winter. It, it, they haven't closed it for any other reason than that. It's, it's a scheduled closing reopening. Anyway, it's reopening soon. They've called me in to help get everything ready. Um, and it was a little last minute that them saying, oh, by the way, can you work the rest of the week? As a result, I wasn't able to get into uh, a routine in terms of getting the videos ready. So... Um, the idea being that I then have one day to record the stuff and then the next day after work, obviously, um, to edit the videos together. I just haven't been able to get into that routine, partly because some of the days I was uh, working, I was going from work, um, straight from work to um, my uh, various martial arts courses. Because I'm a martial artist, I do Tai Chi and Aikido. Uh, Aikido, I, to be perfectly honest, enjoy more, have been doing longer and I'm better at. Uh, tai Chi is fun, don't get me wrong, um, but of the two, if I was told, right, you can only practice one of these martial arts for the rest of the time, Aikido's where I'd go to. It's just how things are. So I just want to thank you for your uh, understanding with that. Um, I don't think there's anything to add to that, so I'll just do what I usually do and say bye. <laughs>